Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have a new video with something new and exciting. Um, it's a bullet journal. I've dived into the bullet journal world recently and I've been loving it and I wanted to share it with you guys. If you've been a viewer of mine from the past, you would probably know that I love arts and crafts. I loved memory keeping, scrapbooking. Um, smash books, those were my jam, but I kind of lost my love and passion for those throughout the years because of my mental health and just things like that, and I really just haven't done a lot of creative work, and recently I've got a bullet journal, and I've just find that it's letting me be creative again and I've been loving it and I've missed the creative side of the world and I'm just really excited to share with you um what I've got and it's pretty simple so far I haven't got a lot of stuff um but my bullet journal is the Lutrum Lutrum Lut whatever this brand is called 1917 um just looks like this if you're interested in this specific bullet journal those are some of the information on it um, but I just got it in black I'm just going to cover this inside page because my information is on this but um, right here I just have my keys so it flips open like this so that um, when I'm on you know my daily spreads or my monthly spreads or anything like that I can see this on the side so I just have my task and stuff and just everything like that so on the inside if we can open it here so just has some stuff so this is the index um, it has a pre index in here so I, I do use that because I think you know once you get more into it you're gonna you know forget some of the things that are at the beginning so my first spread is my future log I haven't written anything in here because I'm not super busy like my life isn't very busy at the moment um, I don't have a lot of dates for you know the future but I am starting college in the fall so in September so once I get more information on when that's you know when my course starts and all that stuff then I'll probably have more things to fill out but I'm probably gonna put you know birthdays and stuff in here so that's just my future log I just used washi and the pen that I love to use I'm not sure if you can see it well it's the Faber Castle Pit Artist Pen, and this is in fine. I have, um, I got a four pack, so there's bold, there's, you know, medium and uh, small. And for the color, I use the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. I love these. Um, you know, doing research on bullet journals in the community, these were pretty um, well raved about, so I picked these up. And I picked up this pack. This is the um, Grayscale palette. I really wanted the pastel one, but it wasn't. Um, it was at a stock at Michaels, so I just picked this one up for now to do me. And I picked up the single, the single one, and um, it's just the purple shade. It's in 603. See that there. So yeah, that's what I got my color from, with the highlighting here and stuff. So there's that. This page right here is just going to be my memories. So if something I really want to remember of this year, I will come here and write down my memory. So this is a period tracker um, for all you females out there. This, I wanted to put this in here because I haven't, you know, really paid attention to my period. Um, I haven't tracked it ever before. I never really know. I think I have an irregular... Anyways, this is TMI probably. But, so, I thought this was important for myself anyways. And so I just made a graph. So, 31 and then the months. 
So each month that comes by, I have heavy flow, light flow, and cramps. So I will write those in when I have my period. So here is my books page. Um, this is not my design. Obviously, you, if you have watched any videos or looked at Pinterest or anything, this is a very popular books to read spread. And this is so this is a bookshelf and you write the names of the books that you want to read in there and I'm going to shade them in once I complete them. And I have a little cactus here. Right here I I'm gonna make this into like a book log so I'm gonna write the name of the book when I completed it and any comments about it, what I thought, my you know, what I rate it and stuff like that. This spread is not finished yet, but it's going to be my movies that I want to see in 2018. So I've penciled in the little tickets and I'm going to, you know, outline them with my pen and stuff once I finish this. But And then write the name of the movie in and then color it in once I've seen it. This is my TV tracker. Um, it's pretty simple. I haven't filled in all my shows yet, but I have a few here, so just so you can see what um, I screwed up there. I was looking at um, how I did my S for September, and then I started to write September instead of Stranger Things. So that's what that is. But So I have the season and then the amount of episodes in that season, and I'll color it in as I watch them. Um, so we have Stranger Things, The Fosters, Riverdale, I have seen you know, like half of Riverdale, but I haven't filled it in yet. I just didn't get to that point yet. But yeah, that's my TV tracker. So now we're into January. Those are my collections. Um, if I find I have any more that I want to put in for, you know, my year, I will just fit it in somewhere and put it on my index so I know where that is. But um, here I have a January dreams page. I was going to do, you know, just a dream log for the whole year, but I thought I might have too many dreams. So I do typically remember a lot of my dreams. Um, so I thought I'd do it on a monthly basis instead. Um, as you can see, I have no memories or no dreams so far because um, I haven't... Um, I started this, you know, like the, the first week of January, so I didn't get things in here until like the 8th and 9th and stuff. So, but once I do have a dream that I remember, I'll jot it in here. And then this is just my January cover page. I just did little mountains and some shading with the Tombow pens, dual brush pens. So this is my January calendar, and... I'll link um, the YouTube channel where I got a lot of my inspiration for this. Um, I can't remember her name off the top of my head, but I will link it down below. She has a great channel. Um, so here I just had the month, January, and then here's my calendar. So here is just I had to pay something. The orange is when I work, I watch a young boy with autism. So that's what that's my income. Um, so this, these are the hours that I've worked and I just shade them in with orange and then this is like a pay. Um, here we have no school, just exams, having a doctor's appointment here. So just, those are those. Um, here is my habit tracker. Um, I know some people do pixels by the year and there's so many different trackers out there, but I wanted to do this by the month and... I have what I'm tracking down here. So I'm tracking whether I take my medication. So I take Prozac and Qtiapine. I'm tracking whether I write in my gratitude journal. I'm tracking my mood, hair, if I read, and my energy. So, and here's my keys. So here's my mood key and my hair key. If you don't, um, you, not a lot of people <laughs> understand what I mean by hair. I have a disorder and... It's called trichotillomania if you're interested in that, but it, that's just so I can track my disorder and um, conjunction with my mood. And yeah, so that's just that. And my gratitude journal, if you want to see a video on my gratitude journal, it looks like this. 
I have um, I have a calendar in here as well. I just have I just journal a lot in here. But if you're interested in what I feel about gratitude journals and why I started one, etc., then let me know in the comments down below because I'd be glad to do that video. So, and here's my first weekly spread. Um, it's not my favorite. I don't like how it looks at all, but I didn't have a lot going on this week and I didn't want to make an elaborate, you know, spread for, you know, to fit two things in for the day. So, I just wrote down the day of the week and wrote down what I needed to do or what was going on and then that's that. So, I just have, you know, the days and then everything that took place that day or what I needed to do so that is all I have so far and I'm very excited for this whole bullet journal journey um, I think it's beautiful I think it's um, a really great way to track your life and I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to keep seeing you know monthly videos on my bullet journal just let me know if you want to see like a plan with me like where I actually um do my spreads with you um I could do that as well just whatever you guys want to see let me know and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please let me know in the comments down below I love hearing from you guys so I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys next time bye